make you smile Wanna throw you like Michael Wanna kiss you like Prince Let's get it on like Marvin Gaye, like Hathaway, Radisson. Hey guys, what's up? I hope you're having a really good day. So today I'm going to be doing a makeup and beauty haul of the things that I got at Toronto IMAX. So I was in Toronto just this past weekend and I had such a good time. It was so much fun. I went with my boyfriend Taylor and we toured the city all weekend and we ate at some new restaurants and I did not have any chicken nuggets at all all weekend. I hope you guys are proud of me because I'm pretty proud of myself. I tried some new foods and tried some different things so that was pretty exciting. I also got to hang out with my friend Brittany, Beauty with Brittany XO here on YouTube and I got to go to a NYX party with my friend Paisley and it was just such a surreal weekend. I had such a good time and I also vlogged the whole weekend so if you guys want to see that vlog I'll list it in the down bar below. This is also a what I got for my birthday haul because I was able to buy a lot of these things with birthday money so I want to say a huge huge thank you to my mom, my dad, and my Aunt Rena. If you guys are watching this, then hi! <laughs> my 20th birthday was on Thursday, October 1st, and I'm also doing a little giveaway on my channel as well. It's kind of like a birthday giveaway. I wanted to celebrate my birthday and celebrate one of your guys' birthday as well, if that makes any sense. So if you guys are interested in entering that giveaway, I'll have it listed in the description bar as well. And I also tried to memorize most of the prices for these things as well so I can tell you guys what the deals were and stuff. So if I do remember the price, it'll be listed like somewhere in the corner here like usual. So I'm just going to get started. So the very first booth I went to was the Royal and Langnickel booth. This was like the first booth that I saw so I kind of like made a beeline to get to it. So I just got two brushes. The first one that I got was the flat smudger brush which looks like this. I really wanted something like this to put um, shadow just on my brow bone and I also got a large smudger brush so just like a basic fluffy blending brush. The next place I hit up was the friends booth and they have these really cute tote bags so they had a lot of different stuff. So the first things I grabbed from this booth were some false lashes. I got a lot of false lashes this weekend. So these were a dollar each and I got five of them and these sold out really, really quickly. And I wish I kind of got more, but I'm just gonna try these out and see if I like them. So I got a few different pairs. So every pair I got from here was different. So I got the 965s, which are really cute, kind of short and natural. Then I got the 961s. These are kind of like, outer corner lashes. These are the 938s. These are very wispy. And then I got the 959. And then I got the 967. I also picked up a Z palette. This is like the hot pink color that they had. I wasn't sure if I should get a black or a pink, but I thought I would get a pink because it's a little bit different and really fun. So I do have a, like a lot of single eyeshadows or little palettes from the drugstore that I just don't reach for because I find I reach for my big palettes more. So I thought if I bought a Z palette and depotted everything and put it in here, I'd be more likely to reach for those shadows. So I'm pretty excited to do that. The next place I went was Inglot and I just got one of their blushes and I swatched all of their blushes and I needed this one. It's a lot different from anything that I have in my collection and it's in the number 63 and it is a really deep dark berry kind of color. It is absolutely beautiful. It's swatched so nicely so I'm so excited to play with this. It's going to be absolutely amazing for the fall time and then I just picked up one of their little palettes so I can put that in there. I'm not entirely sure what booth this was called but they had a lot of nail polishes and then some like different random products so I got two nail polishes. I kind of held myself back a little bit with the nail polishes but I got two china glaze and these are pretty much just staples in my collection. I love china glaze. So the first one that I got was shocking pink which I wore pretty much all summer on my toes and I don't actually have this color I just wore it at the salon and it is so so pretty I'm obsessed with my neons for the summertime and the china glaze neons are just amazing and then I also picked up flip flop fantasy this is another color that's like a staple I feel like for china glaze but I've never actually owned it so it is absolutely beautiful so I needed to get this one and then I just picked up this pedicure mask. It's a hydrating clay mask by OPI and this was only $2 so I thought I would grab this for when I do pedicures in my like at home spa. And then I picked up some more lashes. I think this was at Nigel's Beauty Emporium but I'm not 100% sure. And these lashes were $7 for $13. So I just got a bunch of different kinds. These ones are the 213s. These are the 307s. I'm really excited about these ones. These are the D Wispies. I really love the look of Wispy lashes. 
and I got another pair of the D Wispies and I got a 43 and then I got the 747S and the 747M. I don't remember which booth this was at either but this is the beauty blender and I've never tried a beauty blender before so this was on my wish list of things I was looking for at IMATS and I am so excited to try this out and I'm so glad that I picked it up. I'm really excited to crack this one open and this is the LA Girl lip paint and it's in the color, I have no idea, I think it's covered up. I think it's in the color tees, but I found these at Makeup Mansion and I was looking for these all weekend as well. These were on my wish list and by the time I found the booth, there were only two colors left and the other one was like a weird rusty gold brown color. It was really weird so I just decided to pick this one up and I'm glad that I found it so I can at least try it out and see if I like them before purchasing more but I heard so many good things about these and this is just like a bright pink color and I've heard these being compared to the Too Faced Melted Lipsticks which I'm also obsessed with so I'm really excited to try this out. I've never really heard of this brand before but it's the True Glue and True Lashes. I was just checking out their booth and I thought I would try out some of their products. So this is the True Glue, ad well that was in French. <laughs> so this is the True Glue All Natural Lash Adhesive. It says it's completely natural and actually beneficial for your skin and lashes. And yeah, I don't know. I'm really excited to try this out. I've only ever tried, I don't know, I forget what glue it is now that I use. But it's just like the basic glue from any drugstore. So I don't know. I thought I would try this out and see how I like it and see what it does. And then I also decided to pick up another pair of lashes from this booth. I can't really read the name of these lashes. They're called Passion something. I don't know. But these are pretty natural, so I'm excited to try these out. And then I went to NYX and I picked up a few things from there. I made a little wish list before I went to IMATS. So I ended up getting just a few things off of my list. So the first thing that I picked up was a NYX Wonder Pencil in the color Light. And I think I grabbed the last one. I have one of these in my collection and I really like it. So I just wanted to grab a backup. And then I picked up a retractable lip liner in the color Plum. And I wanted to get a lip liner that would go well with my more purpley based lipsticks, lip products. So I got that. And then I had my eye out for more soft matte lip creams. But I couldn't really find any. So this was one that I just happened to come across. So this is in the color Transylvania. And this is a really dark color. I don't know what it actually looks like. I haven't swatched it or anything yet, but I'm really excited to try this out. And then I picked up two face products. This one is the Angel Veil Skin Perfecting Primer. And I haven't really tried too many NYX face products, so I'm really excited to try out this primer. And then I also grabbed the Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator, and this is in the color Sunbeam. So the next place I went was the lip bar, and I actually went here twice. I'm not exactly sure what these are called. They don't have a name on them or anything, but they're not released yet. They were selling them exclusively at iMats. These are like a matte liquid lipstick, so I love lipsticks like this and lip products like this. I love the formula. So this one is in the color Prima Donna, and this is one that a girl was wearing at the booth, and I really loved it on her, so I wanted to pick it up for myself. And it's a really pretty purpley color. It's kind of like a light purple. So I wore this Saturday night and I loved it so I needed to go back on Sunday and pick up another one. So this one is in the color Crown Me and this is the one I'm wearing right now. And all weekend I was on the lookout for like a purple lipstick, something that I could wear in the fall time. And this is a swatch next to Prima Donna's. Prima Donna one is a little bit more of a berry color and then Crown Me is a lot more purple, so I'm really excited that I went back and picked that up. And I got one of these for you guys too because I wanted you guys to try it out because I loved it so much. So that's in like the birthday giveaway that I have going on on my channel. It's in my room right now and I forgot to grab it to show you guys, but if you guys want to check it out, I'll have that giveaway video listed in the down bar. And then I went to Violet Voss and they had the cutest bag. So I picked up two different lashes. These I am so excited about. So the first pair that I got is called Wisp It Real Good, and that's the, the cutest name ever, so that's what those look like. And then these ones are called I Do, and these ones are crazy. I am so excited, these are so dramatic. I'm really excited to try these out. And then the very last place that I went was Morphe Brushes, and this line at Morphe was insane. I didn't get to go on Saturday because the line was psycho all day long. Even when it got quiet at IMATS, it was still really crazy at Morphe. So I decided to go back on Sunday to IMATS and stop at Morphe. I got quite a few different things. So I'm kind of in the process of rebuilding my brush collection because I've had a lot of the same brushes 
since I first started wearing makeup back in eighth grade and a lot of them are really small like travel size brushes. The first thing that I picked up was just a pack of little sponge applicators and I just grabbed this for my freelancing kit. So the first brush that I got was the G30 and I am so excited about this brush. It is so unique and so cool. So I'm really excited to use this for my contouring. It's really thin and wide so it's going to be great for really getting in there and getting precise contour. So I'm really excited about this one. And then I picked up the M405 and this is just a basic blush brush. I just wanted to have like an extra backup blush brush. I grabbed the M436 which is just a small stippling brush. I thought this would be great for a highlight. And then I got some eye brushes. This one is the M333 which is kind of like another just flat big eyeshadow brush. <laughs> And then I got the M168 brush, and this is a really small smudger kind of brush. This would be really great if you're doing any cut crease looks for any like precision. And then I also picked up the M322, which is just another small kind of smudger brush. All right, so that's everything that I picked up while I was in IMATS Toronto. I really hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. If you guys went to IMATS Toronto, let me know what you guys got in the comments down below, or if you filmed a haul, let me know, because I would love to watch it. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I love you guys so, so much, and I will talk to you soon. Fifth Avenue Diamond, they don't make